got a bit of a different video for you today. I've been getting a lot of questions recently about my editing process, specifically for editing vlogs. And so I thought that today I'm going to screen record as I edit the vlog for this week and show you how I do it and give you some tips if perhaps you vlog yourself or you're looking to get into it. I definitely think that YouTube needs more designers who share their life, so hopefully this might encourage you. I've been vlogging for a couple of years now and over that time I've definitely streamlined my editing process a lot because editing takes a while and I personally would much rather be doing things and like doing the stuff that I'm filming rather than spending time editing. So my edits are very simple, but I'm sure there's a few tips and tricks I can share along the way. I'm going to edit this week's vlog and talk you through the process. Let's get into it. So here's all the raw footage for this week's vlog. What I do is I have this file here, which is a, a, a plain project that has my title and end card already saved in it. So I, whenever I start a new video project, whether it's a vlog or a video like this, I just duplicate this guy by going Command D and then I'm gonna drag it into the March folder. Okay, so this is what my plain file looks like. And to start with, what I do is just grab the first lot of files that I see and drop them onto the timeline. I edit in Premiere Pro, by the way. I don't think I said that yet. There you go, they show up and I just drop them in. I like to get all of my raw footage just sitting in the file first so I sort of know what I'm working with. So let's just get the rest of it. Basically I just work from the start to the end and like work my way through it. I tend to do two passes which yeah I'll get into that. But anyway, um, to start with, this guy here is my intro. My intro was made by a very talented animator called Austin Saylor. And we made a video together actually talking about this intro animation so I'll link that on a card if you want to go and watch that. So basically this is an After Effects project and um, the composition is what is in my Premiere profile. So whenever I make an update here in After Effects it will automatically update in Premiere which is amazing. First off I'm just going to turn on the fill which is what makes my logo white. And then um, see here how Austin set the file up for me to place the title graphic. I'm just going to delete these because that's not what this is called and I already have saved the one called weekly vlog. I'm going to turn on the fill for that as well and now it says that. Now in Premiere my file should be the right one. A trick that I learned for editing I learned from Levi Allen who is an amazingly talented filmmaker you should definitely check out his channel. He lives in Canada and is always doing awesome outdoorsy things. Um, he made a video about how to double your editing speed in Premiere Pro, I think that's what it was called, and he told me about two keys, Q and W, and they have completely changed the way I edit. So if you hit W, it will chop off your footage from the end up to the point that you have it at. And if you hit Q, it'll do the same thing but from the start. So right here, see I've got my play point, playhead, whatever it's called. I'm just going to hit W and it's going to chop it to that point. This is basically how I just go through all of my footage. I'm just going to put my headphones in now and get to chopping down all my chatter. I tend to just go to like, you can see in the sound waves here where I'm going to start talking. So I'm just going to go Q and chop off to there as my starting point. Some other handy keys when editing is J, K and L. So L goes forward, J goes backwards and K stops in the middle. So, you know, they're all together. Um, if you hit the key twice, L or J, it'll move forward or back at double the speed. So that is really handy for editing because it means you can like speed through whatever you're saying. So I'm just going to hit L twice and go through this clip. If you've seen my vlogs before, you'll know that I do a lot of like talking and then montage bits showing what I'm up to. And for that, I need music. I have this songs folder full of, you know, songs that I've collected from various places. This is an artist I've been liking using a lot lately. His songs are available under a Creative Commons license, which means I just have to credit him in the description, which is easy enough. So I'm just going to pick a track. I want to chop the music off here because I don't need music behind this talking piece. I like using the exponential fade uh, transition I guess it's called yeah I just drag that out a bit so that the music can like fade down gently as I start talking so whenever I have my montage -y stuff I don't want the ambient sound from the camera in there I just want the music so I highlight the clips and then go command L and that will unlink 
the audio, then I can just highlight the audio part and delete it without deleting the whole clip. Another tip is you can copy and paste transitions, so I will just copy this fade and paste it here so it does the same thing on the way out. If you're using Q and W as well, I always lock my sound layer because I don't want to chop up my song as I'm chopping the footage. This clip I've sped up just by right clicking and going into speed duration and I set it to 300%. So I'm just going to keep doing this throughout the rest of my footage, um, chopping up the talking bits and timing the montage stuff to music and then I will come back to you and show you the titles part. Okay, well, that took longer than expected and also then I had an hour break because I had a meeting, but we're back. This is my uh, rough cut of my vlog. Um, it's not that rough actually. I tend to like try and keep things pretty tight as I edit through so that I don't have to watch the whole thing through again. Um, but as you can see, I've got my talking bits and then the little bits of music. This one's turned out to be about 18 minutes long, which is probably my longest vlog ever. So I don't know why I chose this one to edit for the video. Anyway, last touches. So um, I've copied in my end card, which I just keep like saved in another sequence in Premiere. So I just copy and paste those files because I have my, an uh, my animation, my logo um, animated in just on top of a screen that I made in Photoshop. Next, I have to go through and add um, little transitions, like some fade to blacks between different days and also the days of the week. And then we're pretty much done. Um, also at the start here, I just wanna put a bit of footage behind this first clip. So I'm just gonna move that up the timeline. And what shall I put in a clip of? Okay, so my titles, um, pretty easy. I don't actually have a template set up for these because um, I don't know why. I tend to like use a different font each time. One of my various script fonts from Ian, who if you've seen this vlog, then you will have you will know who he is. Let's open up font book here and decide on a font. Trick for um, days of the week titles that I sometimes will do this. You want to make sure that Wednesday fits because that is the longest day of the week. And so if that fits in there, then you're good. Usually I'll use the, um, if you hit the M key, it'll make a little marker up here. And normally as I go through, I'll make a marker showing me where the days of the week are. Or I might make the days of the week as I go, but I did not this time. Now I'm just gonna um, simply duplicate, where's my duplicate, there it is, that title and drag it in and then double click on that to edit it and we'll change this to say Tuesday. There you go. So all of my days of the week are now in and my transitions. Um, to be honest, if, if sometimes if the vlog isn't quite so long, I will go in and bother to do some color correcting or add some like, you know, sometimes I add like little sound effects or funny titles or whatever throughout if I feel like it needs it. But I've spent long enough on this vlog to be honest um, and it's 18 minutes long. So um, that's pretty much my approach to vlog editing is that I've got a certain amount of time to do it and whatever gets done in that time is just what gets done. So now I'm simply going to export this and um, once it's exported I'll watch it back. I don't generally play it back here in the timeline, I just sort of trust myself that I did the editing process correctly. But yeah, I can go in and re-export if I need to. I hope you found it interesting to see my process. Um, I'm not sure how interesting it actually is, but a lot of people were asking about it and so I figured that I would shoot this video. Um, one last thing to mention I suppose is that I film my vlogs on this wee thing here. This is the Canon G7X and um, it's the Mark II. That is the end of this video I suppose. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and if you've got any questions, if there's anything I didn't properly cover, 
then please feel free to let me know down below in the comments and I'll answer them there because I do always try to reply to my comments. So say hi, um, tell me about your editing process. Maybe there's some tips like maybe that you watched me do and thought, wow, why is she doing that? This is so much faster. So if that's the case, let me know about it because I'm always down to speed up my editing process. Um, that video I talked about from Levi will be linked down below. So check that out. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Hit subscribe if you're new to my channel. I don't often make videos about editing videos to be honest, so don't expect more of that. But I do make videos about design every single Saturday and then vlogs like the one I just edited of my life every Tuesday. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next one. Bye!